hello guys my name is Mohammed Ali and welcome back to coding cafe so in the previous video tutorial as you know that we have got the user current location and we display it on the Google map using the Google API and definitely uh, using the mobile phone GPS if the GPS is on so now in this video tutorial we will create a beautiful layout for the image buttons where we will add the near I mean the button for the nearby places that is for the hospitals in the nearby area where a user live that is you can see that this is my current location and this is the place which where I live and now we will create image buttons for the hospitals for the hotels restaurants school college and universities so when a user click on that image button or you can say that icon button then it will display the hotels and restaurants in his nearby places and we will add uh, also a search bar where a user can search for addresses or any place around the world manually so yeah let's do that so go to the android studio and now here uh, go to the activity google dot activity google maps dot xml file and here you can see that this is our activity the fragment activity where basically the Google map uh, appears uh, in our app okay so now what we're gonna do first of all uh, here at the top let's move it below here we can say relative layout close this and inside this we can give layout width to this relative layout so we can say layout width match parent and you can see this uh, Android schemas also add to it okay which is this one x m l n s colors colon android and this one okay you can see that so and the next thing which we will be adding is the layout height so here we can say layout height layout height and it should be match parent so you can see the error is gone and now what we're gonna do next now you can simply uh, select this fragment from here Control X, cut this from here, and we can now paste that fragment inside this relative layout. You can see that, okay? And now, first of all, uh, click on this values, go to the styles.xml file, and here you can see this team app compact light dot action bar which appear here. So you can simply select this and write no action bar. You can see that, okay? Change this to no action bar. And now come here, and you can see that the action bar is disappeared from here now the next thing is to add buttons the image buttons here so we can first create and edit text so first let create layout it should be match parent wrap content and inside this relative layout we can say edit text for uh, the search address and let's give it id and sorry first we have to uh, give it the width okay and the id for this will be android id id will be let's call it as location search location search and the width for it will be 314 dp and the height should be 50 dp and then we can say align parent start to true align parent top to true ems 10 and let's give it some hint so the user can see that what it means so we can say write any place name so as you know that this will a user will write here the place name manually if he want to search for any place around the world so we need to uh, we need these icons for our image buttons so you can the link to these icons will be available in the description down below you can simply click on that link and download all these icons from there okay so once you download this then you can simply cut uh, copy this from here control c and now uh, go back to your android studio and here you can see this map map you can simply click here and here you can see this Shoin Explorer. So click on this Shoin Explorer now and it will open this. And now uh, you can simply click on this map map minus HDPI. Click here and paste your all icons here. You can see that, okay? So make sure to do this. 
and I, as I told you the link will be available in the description down below and now after this edit text we are going to add a search icon so that a user can search address from any uh, or search address or any place from around the world manually so here we can say image button which should be wrap content and height 50 dp and the next thing is to align it to the end so we can say align parent add true align parent top to true and we can say on click android on click on c l i c k click this is capital c okay on click make sure to write the same which i wrote here and the source for this will be the icon is by the name search in the map map folder okay you can see that and if i add it then you can first we have to move this fragment below this uh, relative layout okay in this relative layout we have this edit text and this image button so to move it uh, below uh, this i mean we have to move this fragment below this so what we're gonna do here uh, we have this fragment so here we can say for this margin i uh, mean for this fragment we can say margin top 45 dp and let's check how it's look you can see that this is our image button and this is our edit text field for getting the place name from a user align parent top to true align parent start to true so yeah it looks beautiful now what we're gonna do after this fragment we have this fragment and after this fragment we need uh, another relative layout for displaying the hospital image button the hotels uh, image button and restaurants and the school image button so here we can create a relative layout match parent wrap content and inside this relative layout first let uh, give it some id so the id for this will be let's call it as second underscore relative layout and inside the second relative layout we need a image image button as i told you wrap content and wrap content let's give it id so the id for this will be hospitals underscore nearby that is nearby hospitals where a user live and now here we can say align parent bottom to true align parent start to true and you can see that here okay and then we can say margin left 67 dp on click on capital c l on click okay on click c l i c k and let's add the icon for this so you can say android source source for this will be the hospital icon inside the map folder you can see that okay this is the icon the hospital icon and now after this we need another image button so we can say image button wrap content wrap content and let's give it id so the id for this will be schools nearby and we can say align parent bottom to true and we can set to end of id and pass the id of hospitals nearby here so it will appear here you can see that okay this is so now we need to add the source i mean the icon to this so we can say source and the source for this is the school icon inside the map map folder you can see that okay and after this yeah that's it and now we need to create another button so we can simply copy this code and we will change it for the other button so paste that here and here we can say first change this uh, id to restaurants nearby wrap content wrap content and here remove this id and 
copy the schools nearby id and paste that here and now we need to change the source for this restaurant so here we have restaurants icon inside the map, map folder so you can see that okay this one and here we have this uh, added text and let's uh, give it the text color for the hint so here you write hint and it says android text color hint android at the right android color color and you can see here this darker gray so give it any color you want i will give it darker gray for this search box where a user will search any place uh, manually and these are our three icons one is for the hospitals for the schools and for the restaurants and hotels and uh, you can uh, place it anywhere here so to move it you can simply change this uh, margin left to whatever you want but i will simply leave it at 60 here okay but you can move it when you change this value So now let's run the app to see how our layout and our maps activity looks. So you can see that our app is running now successfully and this is the search box where a user will write the place name or address and when he click on the search button then we, we will uh, search uh, that place or you can say that area and we will display it to the user on this Google map and also these are the icons for the nearby hospitals, nearby schools, nearby restaurants. So when a user click on that, then it will display the hospitals, the schools and the favorite hotels and restaurants around the place where a user live. So we will work on that in the upcoming video tutorials. So yeah, that's it for this video. And if anyone is new to our channel, then please subscribe our channel. Thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.